What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and this morning, we're going to be talking about a brand new event, some exclusive rewards, and some surprise content that got revealed. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and make sure to update your Warzone mobile application if you haven't already. I've seen lots of questions in my video's comments over the last few days asking about the brand new progression bug. This has been a problem since at least the start of Season 3, maybe even longer than that for other players around the world. But as I mentioned in my recent video talking about the $80 Beast Glove, I wasn't able to take in any of my brand new blueprints or even my base season three weaponry into mobile so even though i had the beast club blueprint that was clearly visible in my mobile menu i couldn't equip it and then the base version of the gladiator did say that it was locked until i went ahead and claimed a certain sector of the battle pass i already did that inside of mw3 and warzone yet the content was still locked here inside of warzone mobile this even applied to the fjx horus which is the brand new smg of the season although i haven't claimed the base sector which comes with the regular version of the weapon i still have blueprint available for the FJX, which I can now bring in game. These are, of course, from the Battle Pass and Black Cell, respectively. So, luckily, that's now been fixed. You can go ahead and update your Warzone Mobile app to go ahead and fix this problem. I think it was silly because it defeated the purpose of the whole cross-progression system inside of Warzone Mobile. I couldn't bring in any of my new weaponry. They just got added with our brand new season. But on top of that, as a big reminder, too, with our Season 3 Battle Pass, there are exclusive rewards that you can only claim on mobile and can only use on mobile. Although it's disappointing that you can't bring these rewards into to the mainline series it still gives you more bang for your buck with your battle pass purchase so you'll be seeing the following rewards you get a p890 blueprint called silent burn you also get the lavish edge blueprint for the combat knife the drop into hell calling card the medic expedited vehicle skin as well as the breaking free decal followed by the face of war emblem and lastly the heartache weapon sticker now it's like i said before i would really prefer if the exclusive rewards within wars and mobile could still be transferred into mw3 even if you can only claim or unlock lock the rewards while playing the mobile experience that would certainly spark up interest in the exclusive cosmetics that are in mobile and would really just make wars mobile stand out in comparison to cod mobile a completely separate entity not connected to the mainline series now here's something i haven't seen too much discussion about in the online community and that is the fact that in wars on mobile settings if you go over to the hud presets you will notice the image in the background actually shows us fortune's keep that could be our first ever confirmation that fortune's keep is going to be a map at a to mobile at some point in the future funny enough over at cod next a couple of months ago for mw3 i actually asked the wars of mobile devs if they can go ahead and add in the vaulted warzone maps onto mobile to at least let those maps live on to continue their legacy even if the maps aren't playable in the main warzone application that was before we found out that uh rebirth island was going to be added to mobile at some point i think it's cool right i would probably prefer if they add in the resurgence maps first onto wars of mobile to really spice things up a bit before they go ahead and add in a map like called Dera or Almazra or eventually Urzikstan, I think it would be cool to see a majority of the Warzone maps that we know and love added onto mobile even after they're vaulted from the mainline application. Now on screen, you guys can see a list of upcoming events within Warzone Mobile. In the recent Season 3 Creator Call, the devs actually went ahead and incorporated mobile into the big conversation about multiplayer, zombies, Warzone ranks. So now those calls got even crazier. I'll be able to talk more about exclusive unlocks and exclusive content coming to mobile after those calls happen every once in a while. So as to confirm in the dev call, we do have an event happening today, April 11th, until April 17th. This event is called The Assassin. We then have one on the 18th of the 24th called To The Metal. Another event happening on the 25th of April until the 30th called Cover Me. These events will last for different periods of time, but there are also going to be some events happening during Season 3 Reloaded. So the second half of the season, at some point in May, we do have events like Golden Week, Storm Chasers, Viking Battle, and even Crash Landed. Now, as of about, I think, a week and a half ago, I went ahead and streamed the event called called The Recruit. It was a pretty cool event that was similar to Operation Day Zero, requiring you to collect event points, but the way in which you got event points was different from Operation Day Zero, and it looks like the event actions for each event are going to be different. We'll talk more about this likely in a separate video soon, but it's cool they spice things up to make sure the events feel different every week, but for those wondering, hey, are these rewards going to be transferable to the main game? The answer as of right now is no. Now, I'm not ruling out the possibility that events they add in in the future, even if they're only completable inside of mobile can't have rewards that you can use in the main game that's probably going to happen at some point but for now the rewards are just exclusive to the mobile experience there's also a possibility that at some point in the foreseeable future they end up making the rewards transferable even if they weren't right away so that's why i'm like you know what let's just do the event anyway just in the case the rewards do become transferable and i also like a lot of parts of wars on mobile so might as well go ahead and grind new content every single thursday as new events are meant to drop on that day anyway so 
I went ahead and streamed the recruit event as of last week, and I'm not going to stream the assassin event later today. I'm going to do that on Saturday instead, since later today, Thursday the 11th, I'm going to be streaming the high trip resurgence LTM that's being added into Warzone since it got delayed a good 24 hours. Now, you can see in the Season 3 roadmap some images of these upcoming events for Warzone Mobile. You can get a small glimpse of a few of these rewards, like I said, and I think it's cool that, hey, if you guys out there just want to get some extra unlocks and just be a completionist in Call of Duty, you have more to grind for every single Thursday moving forward. But here's something really cool that also hasn't been talked about all that much because it's a fairly controversial feature, but it looks like at least a couple of times per season, we're going to be seeing a brand new Lucky Draw update. Now, Lucky Draws are obviously in COD Mobile right now and are essentially a version of gambling similar to supply drops, but within Warzone Mobile, Lucky Draws are known as the Keep. So you can actually see the Keep right now within Warzone Mobile. I'm going to put it up right here so you can see. Block my face cam for a second. The Keep is right here on the left, and as you open it, you'll see a number of different rewards. The Keep that's live right now will last another 11 days, so they're not going to add in a new Keep every single week, and these aren't really tied to the weekly events either. They're separate from the events, and this is called the Digital Demon Keep. So this Keep has 10 different items, including a pretty exclusive and legendary blueprint, as you can see there. We got some Tracer blueprints and Death Effects. We also have this Operator skin, Heavy Ultron vibes if you're a Marvel fan, but that's an interesting skin called Cyber Fiend. We also have some other rewards here, as you can see, the Ion Impact. Got a blueprint there called Caustic Void. We have a vehicle skin called Cyber Damon. We then have a knife blueprint, Phantom Hex, as well as some other cosmetics here, the Internal, or excuse me, Infernal Overdrive Charm. We also have an animated emblem there called Unstoppable, a Demonic Sentinel Large Decal, and lastly, a Back for More Weapon Sticker. So the way the keep works is pretty straightforward, in case you guys weren't aware. When it comes to the keep itself, you guys can obviously take a chance by using some of your COD points you have and spinning for one of these items. Obviously, when it comes to the rarity of getting these items, the best items will be the rarest to unlock. Now, as you can see, my first spin will cost 40 COD points, and there's a chance that I can get, let's say, the Operator skin or the Legendary Blueprint, but the odds are going to be relatively low. As you can see here, a 0.08% chance to get that pretty cool-looking Legendary Blueprint, a 1.25% chance to get the Operator skin, and then some decent chances to get the other cosmetics that you can see there towards the bottom left. Now that is a little video trailer for this brand new keep update. I mean, here's the thing, right? With every battle pass that you get, there's obviously free COD points that you'll earn that you can either save for a future bundle or the next battle pass or whatever the case is. If anything, I'd say if you guys do actively play Wars on Mobile and you care about cosmetics and you don't mind spending a little bit of extra money, then there's a cool opportunity to get some fairly reasonable looking skins here. I mean, this isn't the best keep in the world. There's obviously some crazy lucky draws in COD Mobile. This is just a start for Wars on Mobile. Again, if you have interest in spending your extra COD points, let's take our first spin here and see what we end up getting i'm just curious we're going to get oh my god okay well we ended up getting the back for more weapon sticker take another turn for 100 cod points because we have some spare that we have some spare coins we can go ahead and use purchase a turn there can you imagine if we got the legendary skin <laughs> This could obviously be addicting like supply jobs from back in the day, right? That could drain people's bank accounts. But again, it's really for the folks out there that want to spend the extra money if they have it. They don't have to go and use this system. And I honestly think if any of these rewards were to transfer, oh my God, we almost got, we almost got the uh, the operator skin there, but still got the blueprint for the FTAC Siege, the Caustic Void. Pretty, pretty cool. The thing is, right, as you spend more and more, it will cost more COD points to go ahead and spin again. So from my understanding from a old keep that we had in Warzone Mobile during the limited testing that was live last year, it would cost people upwards of like 14,000 COD points a spin. And that's probably the last spin they would have to do to get whatever the final item is. It can cost upwards of $100 to finish the keep. Keep that in mind. But the thing about the system is that if they went ahead and allowed you to take those rewards into the main game, there would be arguments about pay to win and gambling. I get that. But would 
would give more value to the rewards, especially a Mastercraft or even just an Operator skin. So that would be something that I hope to see in the future. If anything, it would encourage more players, maybe don't even play Warzone Mobile, to hop onto the game and spend their COD points if they have some left over to get some pretty cool rewards. Again, I'm going to get called a shill in the comments for covering this, but it's a brand new update that I figured there'd be some interest in for Warzone Mobile if you guys out there, again, want to get your hands on an exclusive Operator skin, even a legendary blueprint, so on and so forth. Now, if you guys are wondering if it's possible to get something super rare on your first spin, the answer is yes. Somebody replied to that data on Twitter with proof that somebody out there managed to pick up the, the operator skin pretty quickly just from spinning a couple of times. So like I said, there's a chance that you can spend 40 COD points, 300 COD points, and you can actually get the reward that you want right away without having to spend too many more COD points. It is certainly possible, but again, it's all part of that gambling system that can be very addicting for those out there that do play Call of Duty. And there we go. We got the Phantom Hex Melee Weapon Combat Knife. So people out there are going to be upset with the fact that it's essentially gambling but it's optional if you don't want to take part in the system you don't have to right you could say oh you're missing out on some cool cosmetics though they're only usable in wars on mobile you can't bring the rewards into the main game if that was the case there would be a lot more outcry about how a lot of these cool cosmetics are locked behind a paywall now, before we continue, I just wanted to remind you about MitchCactus.com, where you can get assistance grinding camos, nukes, or schematics in MW3. These guys do not use unlock tools or any bannable methods and will actually help you play the game. Mitch Cactus is also supported by Trustpilot with over 10,000 verified reviews. You can use Code Dynamite for a limited time to save 5% off your order. Now, last thing I'll mention is that in the Season 3 trailer for Warzone Mobile, we got to see what looks like a very exclusive spider-looking Mastercraft. This is probably a skin that we're going to also see added through the keep system, maybe in a good 11 days' time. So if you guys ever see a trailer for Warzone Mobile that shows some really odd-looking cosmetics, they're either going to be cosmetics we see in an exclusive bundle for mobile, or it is promoting bundles that are transferable from the main series. However, there's a high chance that a very wacky or crazy-looking skin is probably for the new keep, which is going to be getting updates again every so often throughout a brand new season they'll probably update it a good three to four times per season maybe even more commonly throughout some future seasons of mw3 and later black ops but for now let's say we're getting some weekly events in mobile followed by a keep update every so often but that is about it this has been dk dynamite leave all your thoughts down below in the comment section what are your thoughts on this brand new keep called digital demon have you guys picked up the cyber fiend operator skin or did you end up getting the brand new legendary blueprint again i put some footage on screen which is all credited down below in this video description i wasn't lucky enough to get any of these new items just yet but i'll still cover what the items are every week for those out there that are interested in what the cosmetics do look like again i'm not going to be gambling myself because that'll cost way too much money but i still want to cover everything as it's just still interconnected with the mainline series to an extent maybe one day we'll be able to bring some of these rewards into the main game but with that being said really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody